Here we are in the admin portal. All menus are set up in a similar manner, where you can search, run reports, and manipulate data. Let's set up a lot for our users to purchase a permit in. To begin, we go to Lot Administration and select Pricing and Lot Admin. Here we see our list of lots. They can be monthly, yearly, semester, or other. What we're going to do now is add a new lot. In the General tab, we begin by naming the lot and setting a short name. Set the lot to be visible to users, and then select one or more user types we wish to allow in this lot. In the Zone and Location tab, we can enter a lot location description that will appear on the user's portal when choosing a lot. You can then set the rules for this zone. In our example, it's 24 hours a day parking. You are also able to indicate the location on a map. Once you have set the marker, you will get a GPS location for that lot. In the Standard Permits tab, we can set pricing and various options, such as, can the user buy more than one permit in this lot? Or is there a waiting list for this lot? This is also where you would select the allocation for monthly, yearly, semester, or other. In the Temporary tab, we can decide how many temporary spots we wish to allow in the lot. You set a daily cost, as well as configure an optional hourly price breakdown. Anything over six hours would then have a daily rate applied. You also have the choice of making the lot short-term daily temporary parking, or as in our example, long-term temporary parking that can span over 30 days. In the LPR settings tab, we set up the lot group names and e-chalking parameters for use with mobile or fixed LPR camera enforcement. We can now see the new lot in the list of lots. You can see that it's marked as visible, and you can also see what user types are configured for this lot. So let's add permits to the lot. To do so, let's go back to Lot Administration and select Allocate. We can then find the new lot in the list of lots in Allocate. And here's where we select to add permits to the lot. You can bulk add a predetermined set of permit numbers to the lot based on your own naming convention, including alphanumeric combinations. Or you can add a range of numbers generated by Opscom with an alphanumeric prefix or postfix. You will then get a confirmation of the permits that will be created in the lot. Let's go to the user portal and purchase a permit. On the permit screen, we find the lot we just created. Let's click on standard permit to continue. We then reserve the permit. In our cart, we see the permit ready to be paid as well as a violation. In this case, we are choosing to pay both at the same time and continue to check out. We can now choose what payment type we wish to use. In our example, we wish to pay by credit card. At this point, we can review and confirm the payment. The Payment Gateway form appears, and we can enter our information just like any online purchase. We then click on Make Payment to complete the process.